we're going to dive into today's topic, starting with some injuries. And as always, our first topic today is brought five. to us by FanDuel. As the weather gets colder, the NFL offers stay red hot on FanDuel. And right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150. Bucks. You can spend on cameos from Tyvis and Bull if you win that money line bet and cash in on the bonus bets <laughs> Check it from out. FanDuel. So if you've been thinking about joining Thank you, America's yeah. number one sportsbook, there's no better time than right now to get in on the action. The app is simple to use, and there's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, <coughs> over-unders, and much, much more. So visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL, an official partner of the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. And check out this winning bet on FanDuel from Ryan Zupan, who turned $4 into $514.50 wow. on the Browns. He had the money line for Cleveland, two anytime touchdown scores, and Joku and Hunt both cashed in, plus three Alternate over-unders on Joe Flacco, all cash, and Cedric Tillman over. He turned 4 bucks into $514.50. You can be like Ryan Zupan and make a massive profit to spend on cameos for G. Bush and Tyvis and Bull <laughs> and eventually Jay when he gets on there. No, no, no. So make sure you guys send us those Wait. tickets, and we appreciate you all. But let's talk a little injury. Wait, I have one question. I, you you yes. had a low-key uh, Uber rating flex that I think went underneath no, no, the, the, the radar. What, what is your Uber rating? <laughs> A 4.8. Okay, that's be, good. That's funny. I got a five, that, was oh very, no, that was very funny. <laughs> I just wanted to call back to that because who, I thought it might have been missed. Who did he be a five, by the way? So were you rude to the driver? <laughs> I have, I, I, we used Uber all throughout the so I got a 4.86. I got a five. All right, let's talk a little injuries for the Browns, though, guys. <laughs> they have overcome a tremendous amount of injuries so far. We got <clears> news <throat> yesterday that Dewan Jones is out for the rest of the season and the postseason with a torn MCL. Grant Delpit. Mary Kay, who will be on the show in a little bit, is reporting he may have to head to the IR with a groin injury. Ooh. We don't have an update on Jordan Elliott, who is going through the concussion protocol. Ethan Pochic suffered a stinger. His status for the upcoming week is TBD. Guys, at what point, and the answer may be there is no point, but at what point are too many injuries too many to overcome for a team as resilient as this Cleveland Brown squad? Not that many more. I don't think there's any. I mean – the Browns have already lost most of their best players for a period of time. Well, and what if they lost next week? If they lost Njoku, Miles, Flacco, Cooper, none yeah, of those I mean, are tipping points for you? No, I mean, I think you've already <laughs> passed the tipping point. <laughs> I think you might. I mean, the odds of that are, are slim. No, they but. are, but the question was at what point? Like, to your point, yeah. we're damn close. And I think, I think a lot of teams, if they were dealt the same hand, would have already folded. But I agree with that. And so, but I yep. do think at some point, and I don't know, it, it, is it the Delpit injury? No. I no. don't think it, <laughs> I don't is, think it is. But there are guys that I, the guys that I just named, we can't lose those guys. I think the tipping point for me would be if Martin Emerson got hurt, I think that, that'd be the, the final nail in the call. Particularly if Denzel If is Denzel about. stays like, out too. I would yeah. agree with that. I would agree if, with if that. If MJ Emerson I, because got Because that's hurt, such it, an attrition be, to one unit. Yeah. Yeah. That would be tough to overcome. Well, I just, I, I There's like. There's no one player. That's no, I like. I tip like. them over. None. No, I think that would. None. Because I, although I like yeah. the depth of this team, I yeah. think that they, this coaching staff has done a tremendous job of getting whoever the next guy in to come in there and play well. But I think that Martin Emerson has been such a, a vital piece. You know, you don't see a lot of passes getting completed on that side. He had two picks last week, which really paid to them winning the game. If he's gone, I don't know who their replacement is because you got yeah. G. New who's going to be outside for Denzel. Cam Mitchell's in the slot. Mike Ford's going to be outside. Yeah, see, no, that's and, I, and I'm like, that's... G, do you agree with that? I'm disappointed. Just because that's, the attrition... I mean, that's just terrible. That's a All lot of attrition spaded. to one... Groups. Hey, hey, man, when you tell get, me I'm wrong. Hey, when You're you, wrong. Tyvis know this, man. When you, when you start playing and you start to have a, an example in, a, in, a, in, a, in what we're we going to do in front of you, you, you got to say when people start to get to the point where it's next man up and then the next man go in and play well and then he out and then the next man go in and play out, that starts to be the expectation level. That starts to be that, that that's what we're looking to do. That is what we are about. And right now, the 2023 Cleveland Browns is about that model. Right now, it's already established. It's already in the pipeline. When you've already had the example placed in front of you, we got P.J. Walker, and he won a game against the 49ers. There's nobody else that's more 
<laughs> important than a quarterback. And we won with a quarterback that's really not even a, a, a professional quarterback. We've been winning that way all, all year. And what it does, it makes people who are just nicked up a little bit play harder. It makes people have to step up and say, listen, I know, I know Denzel is, is out right now, mm-hmm. but we call Greg Newsom out, right? Mm-hmm. And Greg Newsom had one of his best games last week because he said, I got to step this up. We called Zadarius Smith out. Miles Garrett is banged up. Guess what? He got it in, the, in, in into the column of playing. Right now, this is, a, to me, I ain't going to say it's the team of destiny, but I think what's happening more than, than, than I've seen ever in my life is the Cleveland Browns actually think, and they're correct in this, in this, in, in this <laughs> judgment, that they can beat any team and they got a great chance to go to the Super Bowl. It's obvious there's not one player. Yeah, oh, okay, if, the, if 10 more starters all got hurt, okay, whatever. <laughs> There's no one player that could get hurt that tips him over, and I'm stunned that you said that that would be the case. Martin Emerson got I, hurt. Well, I agree with so what? I okay. agree with the Martin. That Emerson. I'm surprised by both of you. But, but I, I only agree with them if, if Denzel, Denzel stays out and Grant. Uh, yeah. like, obviously, that's three of the four of that position group. Is one, what was here's the bottom he line. Here's the bottom line. They just uh, five half. Okay. They just won a game against a very good team. Did they not? Yeah. Okay. They, they, they did not have their best quarterback. They did not have their best running back. They did not have their top three tackles. They did not have their best cornerback. Mm. They did not have their top two safeties. Nope. I mean, what? So, now, if Martin Emerson, they so, can't so win? Let me, let me Give me a break. Well, well at some you. point, so, isn't so, there a straw that breaks the camel's well, no, back? No, I don't think so. Oh, no. No, so, and Joku wouldn't? And no. So, Jay, so, let Jay, me, let, let me. so, Flacco and Joku, <laughs> Martin Emerson... All of the all of these guys know. Yeah, if you told the entire starting lineup. Jay. Eventually, yeah. Okay, but so there is a tipping point. Wait a minute. Let me, let me, he, he said one player. All right, so let me, let it's me not t- one though. It's three. let me tell you why I say Martin Emerson. Yeah, all those people was out. How yeah. many take? How many turnovers did it take for Martin Emerson to help win this game? Two, two. And so let's take away those two turnovers and let's say they turned into touchdown. Okay, maybe game. Greg Newsom would have picked them off. Maybe somebody else would have picked them one, off. Maybe yeah, they would have won without those turnovers. We never know. They were up by like 10 I points. I don't think that's the case. This, well, we, we lead the league in turnovers. Giving it away? Yeah, giving it away. Yeah. yeah. So you got the only way to beat that is you got to create more takeaways. I don't or, believe, or, yeah. or you tell your office stop giving it away. That's possible think, too. So you think, so so you think Kevin don't get over guys? I'm about to say you think Kevin away? don't go in there every week and tell, talk about t- taking care of the ball. So, so you don't you don't believe that that you can see on the other side of the ball if you got a deficiency that you're not going to be more cognizant of ball. You protection? think they're not? No, they not, lead the I, lead. It's not like they just so Travis, happen to just get I, to I last just think place. It's crazy that you would think I, one I just, more player could end it all. I think if Martin Emerson Lee That's goes down I, and yeah, Denzel is out and Dale Pitt is out and you're replacing him with a guy like Mike Ford, I think that they would take I, I, advantage I, I, I of think, that. Uh, by the way, yeah. for y'all to sit there and tell me that y'all don't think that, no. y'all y'all sat up here and killed G New a couple weeks hey, ago. He killed him. And he has one good game and now all of a sudden y'all tell me that he's Wait, wait, wait. Y'all need to cut this out. Here, the Y'all about to make me upset today. Before the season, if I would have mentioned all the guys that are out now, you would we would all said they were done. All of us across the everybody would have said they were done. But they have hung on. But I think the point here is, at some point, they become too much to well, Of overcome. course, every team in football has a point. And so, what is that point? I think your explanation is perfectly legitimate, specifically because the back end of this defense is so vital. And they've already got two very important cogs out. Three out of the four might be more than they, they already have overcome. three out. It they, might be more they than they already have three out. Okay, then it would be four if Thornhill doesn't play by, next by, week. By the way, so if you've got yeah. all four of those guys out and now your second team on everybody in the back of the That's defense. That's fine. Next man up looks great on paper. Still Ron, I, I like Ronnie Hickman. Ronnie Hickman plays well. Like okay, for, uh, okay, Thornhill is out. Okay, cool. What are they got to do? Give with me Ronnie Hickman. Let's roll. Play MJ Emerson. What I'm I saying, said, I'm, I'm, I'm just, just saying it's one player. It's They've one already guy. lost a million players. Uh, well, we got to you know go what? because, because are, we have a guest. Right. 